Hey guys, Serpent X here. I got the HP MV X360 uh, Ryzen slash Vega 8 system back in my hands. Uh, today we're going to be looking at upgrading the storage with the 970 Evo. It's only the 250 gigabyte version, but compared to the platter hard drive that's on here, uh, it should give a welcome boost to performance. And uh, just a little tidbit on taking it apart. It's kind of simple. You see the three screws in the front here, and you look at the back and you're wondering where the three screws are. So underneath here, if you have an iFixit kit or uh, a plastic piece, try not to use metal because this metal scratches very easily. You just get the spur underneath there, and you peel up, and then there's the other screws. One, two, three. Once I get this guy opened up, I'll show you the internals. Once again, if you haven't seen my other videos, and uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade the storage, put it back together, and maybe run some uh, benchmarking on the hard drives. Just a quick update before I continue. It's actually four screws in the back. Uh, I haven't worked on this laptop in a while. Um, if you can see the size there. But that's not important. So Phillips in the back, but here in the front is a T4 star tips. So, don't try to use a Phillip to take all four of these screws. Look at the screws carefully because if one's not paying attention, you'll be trying to use a Phillips on this and you'll just strip the, uh, the head. So, be careful of that. Just to give you a little bit of example of what I mean by using metal to try to pry up on the laptop. Little chips right there, or just scrape the paint off. A little bit of silver right there just pulls the paint off. You can see how it's kind of starting to lift up. You gotta use a flat piece of plastic to kind of pry up. Uh, if you have the iFixit kit, you can use these kind of tools, but if you just don't, you just need a small piece of plastic. And what you do is you kind of work this end in there and pop up, and you'll hear clips pop. And you go all the way down the sides, all the way back here. Same thing on the left, and then this should lift up. I'll bring you back for that part. All right, once you're getting close to the end and you have all sides, not the back, but all the rest of the sides, these three, all pried up and the clips popped, you're gonna start with one corner and you're gonna pry up. Now it's gonna feel like, you're gonna get a little bit sketch because you're gonna feel like you're gonna bend it. This is a aluminum or, or some type of metal. So you should be good. Just don't use all of your power. Uh, just slightly pry up. It's gonna bend up to here. It's gonna feel like you're gonna break it and you pop it. And there's three, there's more clips on the inside here, 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 and there, that will pop as well. And it actually is metal, by the way. So, not plastic, that's good on them. There's your CPU slash uh, embedded GPU cooler. Uh, here's your memory. This is your platter hard drive, which can potentially be an SSD if you upgrade it. And here is the M.2 slot which we're going to install. Of course it didn't come with a, a screw, so unfortunately I gotta sacrifice the screw I have. I have three M.2 slots on my Tai Chi uh, Z270 board from ASRock, but um, I'll just get another screw, it'll be all right. And this is basically it. The speakers don't look like all that. Looks like they're from the MV15320 400B9.0011. I have no idea what the fuck that means, but anyways, battery is a uh, uh, 4600 mAh, uh, lithium ion, of course. Uh, looks like it was built by a company that I really don't know of, Suing Atlantic, right here, no idea, Suing Atlantic Electronics, uh, rebranded at the uh, HP over in Germany. And so we're going to install this bad boy. Stay. Just like that. Get our driver and our screw and connect it all up. And that's pretty much it. Put that back together. It's not really that hard. The memory, though, I will say this. I'm a, so you can obviously see where the CPU 
and GPU is. I wonder if I should put some fresh thermal paste on there for him. But anyways, um, this is where the memory is. And my question is, is how do you get it out? Like, can we pop these up or do we have to? I think we have to actually get to the memory from the opposite side. Or if not, worst case scenario, the memory on this particular model is embedded or soldered to the motherboard. Which would suck because that means that he cannot upgrade his memory. But I'm going to get this guy back together. Uh, if I see anything else noteworthy, there shouldn't, I'll, I'll let you know. But the one thing I like about the HP Envy is you got four T4, T5 star tips in the front, four, or excuse me, three in the front, three star tips in the front, and four Phillips in the back. Uh, you use a plastic clip or, you know, a plastic pry to carefully pry on all three edges except for the back, and then you work a corner and slightly pull up on it until the inner clips pop and you already have access to all the internal. So you can put fresh thermal paste, you can upgrade the hard drive, you can upgrade the NVMe drive, you can replace the battery, everything, speakers, everything. So most mother, uh, laptops like that one, I had to open the back and then take out the entire top as well and remove the motherboard to do a lot of work. I think the only point that we're gonna have trouble is when we try to upgrade the memory. I'll let you know if I see anything about that. All right, guys, the 970 Evo is in. And I want to show you this real quick. Um, that memory container that I was talking about, if you use the same plastic tool, you can pry up from the furthest corner. So this is the CPU. It's got some tape connecting the two together. And you just pry up from these corners, and you can actually lift it up. Now, if you don't want to void your warranty, I wouldn't do that, but if you want to upgrade your memory, you can certainly do that. There's two sticks in there. They're not integrated. They're not soldered. You can, you can just simply replace it with two 16 gigs of soda memory. Uh, obviously, check the spec sheets. Uh, you want to make sure that it can handle uh, you know, certain megahertz. You might not be able to run 3,200 megahertz. Anyway, so here I am on the Samsung site. Uh, a little bit of flickering on the screen. Uh, I'm getting the NVMe drivers going. Uh, getting Samsung Magician going and we should be um, good to go for some quick tests and benchmarks. So wrapping up this video I wanted to show the uh, numbers here on the left uh, using Crystal Disk Mark and I pretty much got the same thing from the other like AS, SSD and stuff like that. Uh, you know platter hard drives we all know uh, even with you know say the 6 gig um, it's not going to perform as well as an NVMe or just a regular 2.5 inch SSD. But just a simple upgrade, and I know I don't have the best lighting right now, just a simple upgrade of this HP Envy uh, is definitely worth it. So, you know, the reads on the platter hard drive, which we all are aware of, I think most platters can probably get up to 250, 300 megabytes uh, reads and writes uh, about 150, 250 somewhere in there so we're only getting 97 so barely 100 writes and 116 maybe 120 megabytes in reads whereas we're getting 3200 uh, on reads on the NVMe SSD and 1500 writes and then if we look at let's see if I can I can't change it to IOPS can I no this one doesn't have IOPS the other the other program does but it's a drastic improvement completely and the only other upgrade that can be done to this laptop to improve graphical performance is to upgrade the memory. Because right now, the, uh, the memory for this computer, uh, I think it's only like 8 gigs or something like that. It's nothing to write home about. But it's definitely worth the upgrade.